Gen 3 electric bikes are extremely fun to ride and a great way to go on an adventure or embark on an eco-friendly commute. In this video, we're going to talk about the control interface common to all Gen 3 bikes. One of the great benefits of an electric bike is all the control you get over your riding experience. Having a nice ergonomic control interface is critical. It not only provides you control over the bike, it also provides you access to a ton of great information like trip distances and more. Gen 3 electric bikes use a low profile backlit display controller mounted for left hand control over your bike. Let's talk about the primary control features first. To turn on the bike interface, press and hold the mode button until the bike power engages. If you're using pedal assist to power your bike, this is where you control the intensity. Just hit the plus or minus button to control how much power the motor provides as you pedal. For those new to electric bikes, we highly suggest starting with zero or level one pedal assist as you get comfortable with the power the bike provides. Keep in mind that when set to zero, you don't get any pedal assist or throttle function. It can be a thrilling experience to dial this all the way up, but it's important to ease into this as the bike is very powerful. This is also where the throttle lives. The throttle is completely independent of the pedal assist feature, which is the press of your thumb. You get access to the bike's full power without pedaling. This is great when you're just cruising around for a fun ride or when you need a bit of a break from pedaling, but still want to keep things moving. Just like the pedal assist feature, ease into your use of the throttle since the bike's full power is available to you. Okay, let's talk about some of the other features and information you can get from the controller. The upper left corner shows you a real-time battery level indicator. It is important to know that this is not a direct indication of your battery capacity level. To check that, you'll want to press the button on the battery pack to see if you need to charge. Instead, this battery display is actively considering your current riding condition in real time and estimating how much battery is left if you continue riding in the same way. For example, even in a fully charged battery, if you're tearing up a steep hill on full throttle, you'll see the battery level drop a bit. If you kept up that pace, the range is reduced. This is exactly what this indicator is telling you. Head downhill or dial back your pedal assistance and you'll see the battery level increase. Always be sure to know your actual battery level capacity by checking on the battery pack itself on the bike's down tube. Combined, you always know how much range you should expect based on your current riding conditions. The center of your display shows your speed. This can be displayed in either miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Check your user manual on how to adjust this setting. If you press the M and the minus button at the same time for two seconds, you can toggle between real time speed, max speed, and average speed. In the bottom left, you see the distance indicator. This includes an odometer that shows the total amount of miles the bike has been ridden. A short press on the M button will change the readout to trip distance so you can keep track of your current ride. Another short press and you can see the trip time. Together, these offer great feedback about your overall bike usage and the stats about your current ride. Together, these offer great feedback about your overall bike usage and the stats about your current ride. And, of course, you can reset your trip time and trip distance. Check out the user manual for details. The top right of the display provides indication for two more great features. Hold the plus button for two seconds. This will activate the bike's front headlight and also turn on the display's light. Of course, it's great to always use your front headlight when riding. It makes you much more visible to vehicles and other riders. We suggest using your front headlight when riding. The display is also now lit up which is nice when riding in low light conditions. You can also adjust how bright the display is. Please refer to the owner's manual to learn how to access this setting. The last indicator shows you when walk assist is enabled. Press and hold the minus button for two seconds and a minimal amount of power pushes your bike to assist when walking. Walk assist works only when you continue holding the minus button. This is especially useful when walking your bike up an incline. Be sure to test the walk assist feature in a clear open area so you can get comfortable with the level of assist it provides. You'll see the walk assist indicator on the screen. Simply let go of the minus button or engage the brakes to exit the walk assist mode. There are a good amount of settings you can tweak using the display. To learn more, check your owner's manual for a section on interface display operations. So there you go. A full overview of the control interface found on Gen 3 electric bikes. It's one thing to talk about it, but there is no substitute for the amazing feeling you get from getting out there on an electric bike. Check out our other videos or visit us at gen3ride.com for more information.